what's up in this video i want to talk about a really popular plugin that i think everyone has probably seen a video of or most people but i'm still creating this video just in case you haven't seen it i'm pretty late to the party because people have already been posting about it which is the noise and texture plugin and i think there's a version 2 coming out of it which is something that has, has, has actually gotten me excited again which is something that i think you guys should check out when it actually comes out so do definitely follow the creator um, on twitter so I have already created a file with dark landing pages and stuff along those lines. And imagine a landing page having rays like these, or maybe a galaxy like this or something along those lines. Now, what if you actually didn't want to create this manually or you wanted this animated? How would you do that? Well, I can just copy this and I can come here and I let me just remove this and I'm just going to paste it here. Here I have the page. I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to go ahead and remove these uh, lines from here or this glow from here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and actually I can create a rectangle as well because I don't want the background to be applied on my uh, actual frame. So here is the rectangle. I'm just gonna go ahead and hide the fill. So in order to actually play with the noise and texture plugin, you obviously need to open it. So here is the plugin noise and texture. You can click on it. Here are the different patterns that are available. So for example, I can have a dotted pattern. I can have this type of a pattern. Like there are some amazing patterns. Let me just add one to the layer so you can see it. So again, as you can see, this is a pattern. I can control the opacity directly from here and it's gonna control the image that's actually generated on the rectangle that I've created. So it's really live and it's really amazing. And I can play around with a lot of different things. Now, as you can see, I have this pattern as well. I think it's looking good. Imagine I was changing the color here as well to be a bit closer to my design i think it has a lot of potential but that's not what i want to talk about i want to talk about the animated uh noise and visuals that this plugin basically provides so i mean most of the visuals are really insane in my opinion and these are animated no you so it's not like you're just exporting an image here when you actually use these patterns in webflow or in framer or in a custom custom site custom site you can actually export the code to actually have them animated so let's go do the uh, the lines or the stuff that's actually coming from the top so here i have well they actually call it the god rays or something along those lines so imagine i have something like this i can basically increase the reach i can increase the opacity like for example of these things and as you can see it's already starting to look pretty good in my opinion as well so i can increase the rays i can in decide what color they actually should be let me just bump up the opacity so you can see it so something like this it's looking pretty good so imagine if i'm satisfied with something like this i basically can just go and i can export this is the code for react this is the iframe embed as well i can just copy it and now let's say if i actually wanted to include it in framer i can easily do so i can export this whole page directly in framer actually so i'm just going to copy this and then let's hop in to Framer. So here I have a, f um, a page in Framer. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run the Figma to HTML plugin. Well, actually, let me just go ahead and copy this embed. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say that I wanna insert an embed. Or So let's just go ahead and I can say embed. Here is the embed, I'm gonna insert it. It's gonna be there. I am just gonna enter the HTML. And there you go, there is the HTML for our design or for our effect particularly. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and I'm gonna export this whole thing. So I'm gonna say command P and then run the Framer plugin. The Framer plugin basically copies what you have here and then you can just go to Framer and paste it. So copied and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna paste it. Now, as you can see, our effect is already live, which is pretty amazing. Now, since I've actually added this particular effect as a rectangle, I can remove it and I can go here to my embed and I can basically just paste this effect <clears throat> sorry i can paste this effect somewhere here and let me just position it on the top and the bottom and let's just go ahead and increase the height and the width there you go and let's go to our html so here is the html now obviously if you wanted to configure the html we could have done that there as well so i'm actually just going to open the plugin again let's open the noise and texture plugin by going here so noise and texture we're gonna to go to our rays again. 
where the rays are already selected. So that's good. We're gonna go to our rays again. The opacity is 50%. We're gonna go to export. Now, as you can see, we've set a height and the width. I don't really want the height and the width to be 1024 pixels. I just want it to be 100% and 100% based on the actual size of the frame that I have. So I'm just gonna copy it again and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna paste it again. So now it's gonna respect the width and the height that I have. Obviously, I don't really want it ab above this content, so I'm just gonna place it below. Now, as you can see, once I place it below, it's hardly visible because obviously this particular site, if I go here and if I show you the fill, the fill is overriding it. So I obviously need to include this within this group even if I want it behind so that it's not overriding it. And once that's done, now I can basically play with the opacity here as well. I can say maybe the opacity needs to be 0.5. Maybe it doesn't need to be that much. Maybe it needs to be 0.2, so on and so forth. So I can basically tweak a bunch of these things. Similarly, I can just basically close this and go into uh, Figma. And I just wanna show something else as well on the noise and texture plugin. So it's not just obviously this particular effect that we can export, we basically have a bunch of different effects that we can use. I particularly like this one and then there are definitely others that I like as well. This particular one, I really like it as well. It basically has some waves going on in the background and basically, it's basically very galaxy-like and stuff along those lines. So you can definitely check most of these things out. I think this is an amazing plugin, so definitely do check it out. Do subscribe, do hit the bell icon, and continue watching for more Figma updates.